Hi, my name is Marianne Grandin, reporting for Expo Press. Today's expert point of view will be about the latest changes in DSL testing to accommodate the latest technologies. I'm here with Chris Donford, Product Line Manager for the Access Business Unit at Expo. So can you tell us about what's new in DSL? Of course. Over the past decade, we've seen a rapid global adoption of DSL technologies such as ADSL2 Plus and BDSL2. However, subscribers are continuously pushing their service providers to deliver more services over the existing copper plant and desiring greater speeds over these greater distances. This means adapting ADSL2 Plus and BDSL2 to do more. So, techniques such as bonding and vectoring have been introduced. And why exactly are service providers requiring these new technologies? There are several reasons for these requirements. These include the subscriber's thirst for more services, higher speeds, and the desire to add more and more devices to the home network, and of course competition from other broadband service providers. By reusing their copper infrastructure, service providers will have lower capital expenditure, and by adopting bonding and vectoring, will be able to deliver more services to more customers at higher speeds. Therefore, providers will see an increase in their revenues. And can you tell us a bit more about what these new techniques really offer? Yes. Bonding allows a service provider to reuse the copper pairs by bundling two pairs together, thus providing an opportunity to increase the data rate to existing customers or to reach out to new customers. Vectoring allows a service provider to mitigate far-end noise by managing the cable bundle. By mitigating noise, providers can see an increase in the available data rates to the customer. And how is testing affected? Well, existing ADSL2 Plus and BDSL2 test solutions have been focused on single-pair DSL and the services that run over these like IPTV. These new techniques for delivering higher speeds over greater distances require a change in the testing. In the case of bonding, it means testing two pairs instead of one. For vectoring, we are talking about the managing of crosstalk in a cable bundle. And if a test set does not support vectoring, it will impact adjacent copper pairs. And the test set must never be the cause of network service disruption. Will these new techniques diminish all issues related to DSL? Unfortunately, there's no DSL magic pill. However, these techniques are aimed at increasing rate reach and mitigating noise to increase performance to the customer. To assist service providers in the mitigation of underlying issues, Expo Smart R Copper functions can help locate cable faults so that physical impairments can be removed. It's only once these physical impairments are removed can we start to mitigate issues related to DSL performance. So from what I understand, these new DSL techniques will allow service providers to reduce OPEX and CAPEX while remaining competitive and reducing customer churn. Well, this is very interesting. Thank you so much, Chris, for taking the time today to inform us about these new DSL techniques. Thank you. For more information, visit Excel.com.